regardless of whether or not you have a special someone or someone, you know, whatever, who you're spending Valentine's Day with, I think it's always important to take time to appreciate and love yourself. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren, the film student extraordinaire, and today we are talking about being your own Valentine. I was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment Obviously, this video is because Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I was just feeling some feels because this is the first Valentine's Day in a while that I have no Valentine. <laughs> um, and I just, you know, got me thinking a bit because I've never really thought about being my own Valentine. Um, my roommates and I are doing Galentines, so that'll be fun, but it just got me thinking. So I was like, well, why don't we be our own Valentines? I was like, I'm sure people have come up with this already. So I did some research and I compiled a little list, a mix of stuff from different articles I was reading and things that I, you know, just thought of to say like how we can be our own Valentines this year. This list is stuff that, you know, may help warm your soul, lift your spirits. And obviously it's not comprehensive. So if there's something that you would do to kind of be your own Valentine, please let me know in the comments down below so that other people can read them and come up with other ideas for how to be their own Valentine on Valentine's Day and every day. And they are in no particular order. They're just like in the order that I thought of them slash read them, okay? So uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's the spiel. So let's dive into it. Numero uno. Do something, do something. Eat something that makes you happy. Like, Maybe it's a meal that you usually say you can't eat for whatever reason. I mean, obviously, if it's a serious health issue, please don't eat it. But, you know, providing you're not allergic to it, if you want to eat it, try to eat it. Treat yourself. Indulge yourself. You deserve to be able to eat what you want to eat, what you're craving. You deserve to be able to eat that. Number two, watch that movie that no one will watch with you or that no one will watch with you again. For instance, I love the movie Heidi with Shirley Temple but I can rarely find anyone who wants to watch with me. So this is going to be a great opportunity for me to watch it by myself. The movie doesn't need to be a rom-com. It just needs to be a movie that you love. Or maybe a movie you haven't seen, but you really want to see. You know, it's an open-ended answer. Three, go for a walk. Do something that can help you connect to the world around you, whether it's, you know, maybe you live in a city and you just want to explore, or maybe you live near some woods and you want to feel like you're immersed in nature just like go outside and realize that you may be feeling very alone but you're really part of a much larger system number four write an affirmation letter about like you are worthy you are valuable you are whatever you feel like affirming and remember where you put it so when you're feeling blue you can take a look at it and be like yeah you're right you're right to past you five Buy something that you want. It doesn't need to be something, ideally it's not something you need, but if you need it and want it, that works. But please don't break the bank. Don't take this as an excuse to buy something crazy expensive you can't afford. But you know, maybe you wanna buy a new book. You don't need this book, but you want it. Buy the book. Six. Now you may think this is very similar to the letter, but I want you to also write a list of why you love yourself. This is not the same as affirmations where you're like, I am this, I am this. This could be like, I love that I have a big heart. You can say things you love that are physical, like I love my hair, which I do. But I think it's also great to say things that you love about your personality, about your interests, big or small, it doesn't matter. Just so you remember that sometimes you may feel like nobody loves you, but hopefully you love you. And also I'm sure people love you. Seven. Treat yourself to some flowers if you like flowers. Don't go buy like $400 worth of roses, but you know, just get some si a simple bouquet. They sell them at the grocery stores, like all over the place um, right now. <laughs> and you can cheer up any apartment, at home, a room, wherever. Just like a cute breath of fresh air through flowers. Eat. Do a little spa day. If you can afford it and it's safe, you know, maybe go somewhere, get a massage, get your nails done. Maybe you want to do stuff at home. You can do your nails at home. Maybe you can do like a little face mask or, 
you know, try to do some meditation. Just try to relax, treat yourself like a queen or a king or a non-binary monarch, and just have a wonderful time. Nine. Celebrate all your achievements from the past year or your whole life. Who cares? I think a lot of times it's easy for us to celebrate our partners or our friends' achievements and celebrations and just like, yes! But we need to have that same kind of energy when it comes to ourselves. So take this time to celebrate yourself. Yay! You. Ten. Wear an outfit that makes you feel like a rock star. If that's sweatpants and an oversized hoodie or tee, game on. If it's a fun dress for the club, but you're not going anywhere, game on. Whatever it is that you want to wear that makes you feel your best, wear it. I promise it'll make your day so much better. And as a bonus, say I love you to yourself out loud. I don't care if it sounds, do I have hair in my mouth? No. I don't care if it sounds cheesy, say I love you. Just like this. I have in a mirror. I love you. To wrap up, I just want to express why self-love is so important, and I can't find a better way to say it in my own words, so I'm going to read off this definition. <clears throat> self-love is defined as proper regard for and attention to one's own happiness, and an appreciation of one's own worth or virtue. Basically, if you're giving all this time and love and attention to other people, you're kind of running yourself dry. You need to have your own full bucket so that you can keep giving out all the love you have in the world. And so first, you must love yourself because you will generate your own eternal bucket of love. <laughs> I hope this was interesting or happy or whatever, but just remember that regardless of whether or not you have someone, as I said in the beginning, you should always love and appreciate yourself. And Valentine's Day is a great day to do that, but you should love and appreciate yourself every single day. I know I struggle with it sometimes, so I don't pretend it's easy, but it is a worthy goal. And with that, I will leave you here. If you like the video, let's give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you love yourself or how you want to be your own valentine. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.